Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will start working on interior finishing. We will start making interior wooden ceramic floors and how to make such a material. After that, we will create a stair for the house. Then we will create a wall type that will be used as a baseboard. And finally, we will end with the gypsum plastering of the room's interior. Use the timestamps as you wish. Open the file. Click floor and let's start making a floor. Click edit type then duplicate and rename as you see on the screen. Change the function to interior. Click edit then click the material button to open the material browser. On the left side in the wood material select the wood flooring and add it to the project. Click the appearance tab. Right click on the material and choose duplicate using shared assets. Rename it as you see on the screen. On the physical tab, pay attention to the material information and notice it is a wood. Click the replace asset button to change the material. On the search bar, type as you see on the screen. We are searching for porcelain or ceramic material. Click the replace button. Notice the physical information has changed, though the wooden shape is preserved. Click on the shape to change it. Change the views to thumbnails to see material photos. Select the material you see on the screen. Click inside the picture to open the texture editor and change the scale as you see. Change to the graphics tab and click the use render appearance button twice. Click inside the brown color and change it to a lighter brown. Now select the rectangular tool and draw a rectangular areas inside the interior rooms only. Click finish. Double click the section symbol to open the section view. Ok, the floor height is wrong, 
select it and in the properties area change it as you see on the screen. Now it's ok. Back to level 1. Open the patterns view. Use the annotation tab to draw a shape that resembles a wooden floor. You will need a specific plugin to create the wooden floor pattern. Its name is PyRivet. Refer to the first video in this series to see how did we use it to create the walls patterns. Now back to level 1 and select the floor then edit type. Click edit then click the material button to open the material browser. In the foreground area click inside the pattern bar. Click the model radio button. Click create a new pattern and rename it as you see on the screen. Click OK for the cascading menus successively. Go to Patterns. Cross select the wooden floor drawing. Using the PyRevit type, click Make a Pattern. In the drop down menu, select as you see on the screen. Activate the horizontal and vertical flipping. Click Create Pattern. Select the southwest point of the drawing first, then the northeast point second. Click OK, the new pattern replaced what we created previously. Click the house icon to open the 3D view. In the properties area, activate the section box. Select the box and drag it down till you see level 1's floor. That's fine, back to level 1.
Now let's start creating the stairs. In the annotate type, click detail line and let's draw the stairs based on the linked file. Select the drawing and move it to the side. In the architecture tab, click stairs. In the properties area, change the stairs type to cast in place, then change the actual thread to 30. Click the draw button and pay attention to the boundary option is selected. Click the pick option and start picking the external boundary lines of the stairs. Click the riser option, then start picking the lines that represent the risers. Pay attention to the riser count hint at the bottom of the green line, it should start increasing. After you finish all the risers, click the stairs path option, then start drawing the stairs path as you see on the screen. Click the finish button to finish the drawing process. The stairs direction is backward. Click the flip button to correct it. Click the finish button to finish creating the stairs. Select the stairs and move it to its proper location to the right. Click the section tool and create a section at the stairs area to see its details. Double click the section head to open the section view. Select the stairs and in the properties area change the desired number of stairs as you see.
now it's connected properly Make a cross selection then filter it to the lines only Press the lead to delete the detail lines that we used to create the stairs Click wall then edit type Duplicate and rename it as you see on the screen. This wall type will represent the baseboard. Click material then in the search bar type as you see. Duplicate material and assets. Rename it as you see. Click OK for the cascading menus successively. Change the variables in the properties area as you see on the screen. Start creating a wall beside the CMU wall that we created previously. Use the trim tool to join the baseboard edges perfectly. Let's see it in the 3D view. That's fine, but the tile slices need to be represented properly. Select it and let's edit its type. Click edit then material. Click inside the pattern to open the fill pattern menu. Click create new then do as you see on the screen. Click OK for everything that follows. Now it's OK. In the same way, do the baseboard for the rest of the rooms.
let's see it in the 3D back to level 1 click wall and choose the gypsum plaster and let's create the interior plastering for the rooms In the properties area, do as you see on the screen. Start by creating a wall beside the CMU wall and above the baseboard. Go to the 3D view and don't worry about the warning. It's about the two walls that lie above each other. You can neglect it because they are not in conflict with each other. Now press the keyboard keys as you see. Go to the filter tab. Click the edit button then select the baseboard wall. Click OK, then check the Enable Filter button. Click OK and that will filter the baseboard from the view so we can work comfortably. Select the gypsum plaster wall and create a similar. Create the gypsum plaster layer for all the room's interior. Use the trim tool to join the wall's edges properly. Let's see it in the 3D. Okay, this area was not properly trimmed. Go to level 1 and trim the external cement plastering properly. Now it's okay. Rotate the view and search for any inconvenient place due to bad trimming and fix them. Okay guys, that's it for this video. In the next video, we will start working on the bathroom interior. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Be in peace.